Hello everyone, this is Theo. In today's video, I'm going to do some quick digital sketching on the Samsung Tab S6 Lite. I'll be sketching my daughter who is about to call her imaginary friend right now. So I have set the tablet on the box to draw. Those are actually sketches that I drew yesterday. I'll be drawing similar sketches today. And let me show you what I have drawn so far. So all these sketches were drawn with this app called Concepts, which is actually a pretty good drawing app. You know what? Let me just continue adding to the sketches that I have here. So my daughter is now playing with the phone. Notice the shading here. That's because the S Pen, the one that comes with Tab S6 Lite, it actually has tilt sensitivity. My daughter just uh, keeps moving around so I have to draw like a lot of sketches to capture all her different position and when she gets back to the same position I can continue drawing here. So now she is in a different position again. The pen is actually quite sensitive. Now I'm going to create the full artist review on my main channel which I'll post in a few days time. Today I'm just showing you how I usually sketch out with this app called Concepts. There is palm rejection and it works pretty well. I still get the occasional uh, stray strokes, but it's actually not that bad. So here you see two stray dots here. Overall drawing performance, it's quite responsive. And one thing um, that I realized that I really like is Samsung has finally allowed users to turn off the floating icon and the air command. So now, if you, even if you accidentally click the side button here, nothing will happen. So um, that is a really welcome move from Samsung. So navigating around the uh, canvas, let me just put my palm on this display to test out the palm rejection. So navigating around the uh, uh, canvas, it's really smooth. However, I must say that there is some um, lack or choppiness when it comes to um, other tasks like, for example, web browsing. Web browsing, there is slight uh, lack of choppiness. But when it comes to drawing, it's really smooth and pretty responsive. However, uh, when your art has a lot of texture, uh, things may start to slow down. Slow down in the sense that um, when you start to zoom and pan, you can notice the screen, it will start to redraw very slowly. But so far, for simple sketches like this, it's pretty... Uh, okay, you can see, the, can you see the lag? Okay, now it's all right. Just now there was a lag when the colors are flying out. So it looks like I have a few more stray strokes now. One, two, three, four. I'm not sure why I said that uh, stray strokes wasn't a problem. Anyway, um, I don't really think it's that much of a problem. Um, to prevent stray strokes, you do have to make sure that the pen is close to the display. Make sure that cursor appears before you put your palm down. Otherwise, you're going to create stray strokes. Another thing to notice here is, um, can you see the glow here on the right side? So for this particular uh, tablet that I have, um, somehow the backlight isn't that uh, even, so there is slight glow at the edges. The main tablet that I'm using for digital sketches is actually the iPad Pro. Um, if you guys are wondering if you should get the Tab S6 Lite instead of the Samsung Tab S6 because this is significantly more affordable. Uh, for drawing purposes, uh, it's still alright, just that for other tasks like web browsing, 
or even just changing the orientation from vertical to landscape sometimes there is this uh, second lag uh, which can be a bit annoying because even for my phone that is about two years old um, it doesn't have that uh, one second lag when changing orientation so if you are spending less than three hundred and fifty dollars, um, there shouldn't be any lag with tablets uh, nowadays. But there is for this particular one. The pen it's quite smooth on the glass surface. Uh, in terms of how slippery it is, I would say it's um, three point five out of five, where five is slippery. and this display is laminated which means there is no gap between the glass surface and the actual lcd beneath so when you're drawing it really feels like the lines are appearing directly beneath the pen tip and the s pen it's very accurate all right i think i'm going to end this video very soon because my daughter keeps coming over to snatch this tablet and i don't want her to scratch the glass this glass can be scratched i saw her put a plastic block this plastic block on the tab s6 that my wife is using and scratch it across the glass and i saw the scratch appear before my eyes so um, do be careful I'm not sure if I would recommend a screen protector um, if you want to get a matte screen protector um, I probably would not recommend that because um, this LCD screen it's not the best one out there so um, if you put the matte screen protector over it it's going to affect the quality even more so I probably wouldn't recommend a matte screen protector However, if you want to get those clear screen protectors, yeah, sure, uh, no problem. Okay, so that's it for this video. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. I will put out the full review for the Tab S6 Lite uh, in a few days time, and I'll put the link in the video description below. It is going to be a very detailed review. So, yep. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. Bye.